Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for more Civil Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the bar bending schedule of the beam. Uh, so watch this video from start to the end. Uh, you will learn different terms and different terminologies and how to find the length, the total length, the number, how to draw the shape from the given beam and to the bar bending schedule. So you will learn a lot of things from this video. So watch this video with clear attention. So this is the beam given to us. The length of the beam is 10 meter. This is being supported by the two column. One is here and one is here. So it behave like uh, the uh, simply supported beam, but it is fixed joint here and here. So the two columns, one on the right side, one on the left side, the beam moving in the, co in the columns. And these are the length of the bars, steel bars, uh, moving in the beam you can see uh, and this is the bottom B bars in the beam and this is the top bars in the beam you can see and these beams are then shown here at the cross section AA of the beam this is the AA section here of the beam you can see the uh, width of the beam is 400 millimeter and the depth of the beam is 500 millimeter and you can see that these are the bottom bars here but it can be seen in the cross-section view. So it is uh, four in numbers. These bottom bars are four in numbers, while the top bar are two in numbers. The stirrups shown also here. This is the, these are the stirrups. Uh, these are spaced at 500 mm center to center throughout the beam. So, uh, and the column width is 0.2 meter on the right side and 0.2 meter on the left side, which supports the beam. So these were the known dimensions and the uh, terms uh, known to us and we are going to find how to make the bar bending schedule of the beam So this is the bar bending schedule of the beam. The first one is the description uh, I will uh, write here the what type of uh, what type of bars is used here in the beam So I will describe here in this portion. So description is the first one is the bottom bars. The first one is the bottom bars bottom bars this is the bottom bars so i will first try to explain these bars so i write it here first the bottom bars the shape of these bars as you can see in this view is like this one is like that these are the shapes of these bars these bottom bars and the numbers how much there are in number so you can see the number of the bar in the cross section that these are four in numbers these bars are four in numbers and they are 12 millimeter dia bar 12 millimeter dia bar four in numbers so i can write the four now i want to find the length of this bar and the total length that how much this bar in the bottom are used so this is now uh, confusion so coming to the length of the bar that how we find this length of the bar the length of the bar is represented by L can be found out by first this is the length of the beam 10 meter 10 meter is given to us the length of the beam and adding these two columns because this steel bar is going inside the uh, inside the beam, inside the column so this is 0.2 meter here and 0.2 meter here so 0.2 into 0.2 we get uh, 0.2 into 0.2 on the right left side as well as on the right side and also this bar is now bent from the right side of the support as well as in the left side from the support because here we provide the clear cover for the beam clear cover which is 40 millimeter generally in case of the beam similarly here we have clear cover which is 40 millimeter in case of the beam so subtracting this 40 and 40 millimeter which is a means 0.08 meter from this length so we can get this uh, length of the bars up to this uh, beam now again adding the length of the this hook bar which is encouraged hooked at the uh, upside so this hook bar uh, can be found out this hook length of the bar uh, can be found out this formula is for the hook bar is 12 into diameter of the bar where this is the diameter of the bar and the diameter is used here is 12 mm bar is used so we can write it here 
12 and 2 diameter the diameter is uh, 12 mm so it comes out to be 12 uh, 12 but here I will write in the unit of the millimeter so 12 into D 12 into D where D is uh, 12 millimeter so it comes out to be 144 millimeter so it means I can add uh, plus 0.14 plus 0.14 and plus 0.14 because it is provided on both sides this hook length and this hook length is provided on both sides of the beam so in this way we can find the total length of the beam right so adding these values a 10 is the length of the beam plus 0.2 and 0.2 is this width of the beam and then subtracting the uh, my point a point zero eight because the clear cover on this side and clear cover on this side and then again so it comes out to be uh, 80 millimeter which is equal to the point zero eight meter and then adding again the uh, uh, the hook length we can say at uh, the 144 millimeter on both sides so one on this side one on this side so it comes out to be 0.144 and 0.144 so the total length of this bars comes out to be Ten point six zero eight meter. This is the total length of this steel bar. So I can write the length of the steel bar ten point six zero eight meter. Right? This is the, in the unit of meter. The total length also in the unit of meter. So there are four numbers of bar used here in the bottom. So in the bottom bar there are four numbers. So I can multiply this ten with the four. So we can get uh, almost value of 53.5 meter. It means that the length of the total bars in the bottom used here is 53.5 meter. So now coming to the, uh, the top bars. Now the top bars. The top bars is like these are the top bars. Like the same as the bottom bars but they are in the shape we can draw the shape of like this and these are two in numbers we can see we can see that in cross section these are two in numbers you can see one and one two the length of this bar can be found out by the same formula by the same method that the length of this beam up to this point is 10 meter up to this point and then adding this portion and this portion 0.2 and 0.2 and then subtracting this clear cover and this clear cover and then again adding the uh, this hook length uh, this hook length which is equal to the 12b and 12b and the bar used is 12 millimeter dia bar so uh, after adding after uh, multiplying we get the 0 0.144 0 0.144 meter so after uh, adding these always we again uh, get the value of 10.608 is the length of the top bar so by multiplying it with the total to get the total length we multiplying by 2 so we get almost 21 meter is the length of the total bar used in the top portion here these are the top portion now coming to the third one the third one is the stirrups in the bar bending schedule we can see that the stirrups are uh, stirrups are also used in the beam uh, these are the stirrups you can see these all are the stirrups at uh, the transverse reinforcement we also call the transverse reinforcement or the shear reinforcement in beams and they are placed at 500 mm center to center distance these stirrups are placed throughout the length of the beam so uh, the stirrups in the description in the shape of the stirrups is like this one you can also see the shape of the stirrups here in the cross section and how much in numbers they are present so as we know that the length of the beam is 10 meter so uh, to find the number of the stirrups and this beam so as we know that the length of the stirrup is uh, 10 a meter and the distance of each stirrup is 0.5 meter so we get uh, the uh, 0.5 meter is the distance between the two stirrups so dividing the total length by uh, spacing so we get 20 numbers of stirrups are used here 1 2 3 so these are 20 stirrups now so i can write it here the 20 
numbers of stirrups are used in this beam. Now the length of the stirrups. How much is the length of the stirrup and to get the whole length of the stirrup then? So to, length, to get the length of the stirrups, we will use the formula L is equal to the so this is the 400 mm is the width and 500 mm is the depth. So uh, we can get the length of the stirrup by subtracting the clear cover from each side. So 400 is the length of this stirrup uh, in the, along this side. Oh. So 400 and we will subtract this clear cover as well as this clear cover because there is no stirrup here extended but it is start from the hair. So 40 millimeter here is the concrete cover. And 40 mm here is the clear concrete cover is used to support the main bars. So subtracting 40 mm, uh, uh, the 80, 40 millimeter and 40 millimeter from the 400 mm, so we get the 320 mm is the length of this step now. This is the required length. This is the length. Similarly, uh, 320 is here and 320 is the length here. So 320 into 320. Now adding similarly these, these length, these length of the stirrups, these length. One length is here and one length is here of the stirrup. So to find this length is we know that the 500 mm is the depth of the beam. So we can subtract similarly this clear cover and this clear cover. So subtracting this 1440 from 500, we get the four, uh, 420 millimeter is the uh, length of this stirrup, this stirrup. So it's provided on both sides, one is here, one is here. So 420 into 420 on both sides. So now one thing remains, this is the, this length, this length and this length. This is the hook bar length and this hook length is known to us as 12D, where D is the diameter of the stirrup bar and here the stirrups is used is number 8, 8 millimeter bar, 8 millimeter. So by putting this value here in place of the D, so we will get the uh, length of one stirrup, it is 96, so 96 and 96 because there are two hooks, uh, one is here and one is there. So this was the total length of the stirrup. So it comes out to be after adding all these values, uh, we come uh, the value of 1662 millimeter. It means 1.66 dividing by 1000 we get 1.662 meter so the length of the stirrup in the unit of meter is 1.662 meter this is the length of the stirrup now multiplying it with the 20 so we get the total length of the stirrup which comes out to be almost 33 meter is the total length of this stirrup used here in this beam we just multiplying the length of one stirrup with the total length with the one length of the stirrup so we get the total length of the stirrup in meter so this we call is the bar bending schedule of the beam you can also find the bar bending schedule of the column i will also upload more videos about the bar bending schedule of the column in footing uh, and the combination of the column in footing so don't forget to subscribe our channel for more videos thank you for watching our video